Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house. Back at you to do a read for the sign of Pisces. So Pisces or Cross Watcher, wherever you have the planetary placement in your chart, please only claim this from your higher self and for your higher good and only if it's going to be helpful or not at all. Whoever you are, wherever you are out on the planet, shout out. We see you, we acknowledge you, and we love you. So thank you for taking your valuable time and spending some of it with us. All right, let's hit this. Clearing ground for Pisces. Thank you. As above, so below, there is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of our collective of Pisces. Pisces, we are working with energy. Energy is fluid. I could be speaking about you or somebody who's in your energetic field. Show me the energy. Let's see who and how we're going to help somebody out there today, yeah? Yeah, here we go. Pisces, please and thank you. Pisces, spirit and ancestors. Pisces, 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 Pisces. Okay, we've got a lot of flippers, but no landers. Here we go, Pisces. The sun, what a happy energy this is. You could be experiencing some kind of success or joy in your life right now, some kind of optimism. It is Leo energy for some kind of enlightenment, some kind of an achievement, some kind of an accomplishment, fulfillment, warmth, love, right? Beautiful. Something could be significant about the 21st or the 3rd or the month of March. Thank you. All right. So... Oh, that's a lot of Leo energy here. So you could be dealing with somebody that's straight up Leo, or you have Leo in your chart, or something like this, okay? Your challenge here is to be patient in the situation and to have determination. Um, do not have any self-doubt, okay? Because that's what strength is. It's about inner bravery and courage and confidence. Now, at the foundation of a situation, you do have a four cups here. You could have been very discontent with something indifferent, apathetic, bored, or perhaps in very deep contemplation. You might have been feeling a little antisocial or unmotivated or stagnant in some area. You were lacking some kind of emotional satisfaction. Show me. But that's at the foundation, so that's good. Something could be significant about mermaids. Somebody might like mermaids here. I'm also seeing a pterodactyl. I'm hearing pterodactyl. <laughs> All right, let me see. Show me. I feel guided to tell you that it's not about the size of the lion in the fight. It's about the size of the fight in the lion. All right. So it doesn't matter yeah, how big or you know, small you think you are. It's what's inside of you, right? Your determination and courage. Show me. Here we go. Crowning you, Pisces. You have some kind of transformation. Something's ending, so not, something new could begin. It's a transition. It's a regeneration. It's, you know, it's death and rebirth. Scorpio energy. Again, the 13th could be of significance, or that uh, comes uh, boils down to a four, which could be April, could be of significance. Here we go. Now, Queen of Coins. Coming in, you have Virgo Capricorn and Taurus energy. This obviously could be you becoming very financially stable. You're in a sensible, nurturing energy. This is a practical energy, very down-to-earth, very generous, maybe a business person or very business-minded, very solid character. So if this is not you embodying this Queen of Coins, maybe you have your own business or, or you're, you know, respected for your business savvy. This is what I'm hearing, okay? Uh, then you have somebody coming in that's going to be very solid and dependable. Here we go. You're looking at this. Like, okay. So you might have taken on a lot of responsibility to become this queen of coins, male, female. And you're like, look how heavy her headdress is. She's got a spoon in a lot of different pots. You might have a lot of different things going on. And you might have over-obligated yourself or you're on a struggle bus. Perhaps too much responsibility is weighing you down and you're burdened by it. Show me. Here we go. In your actual environment, Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. This is a very fast-moving energy. Okay, this is an energy of feeling very impatient, um, but fearless and brave, directly going after something that you want, but perhaps going against the flow. Okay, yeah, the Knight of Swords. This doesn't have to be you. This could be somebody in your in your energy. This could be somebody who's very you know opinionated and focused, perhaps a little condescending and very ambitious. This could be you being very ambitious and taking too much responsibility on, to, you know, because of this Queen of Coins energy. So I really feel like this is you. So show me what's going on here. This is the best advice from spirit for you, Pisces. What's the best? Okay. Oh, the Ace of Cups. All right. 
So there is some kind of new emotional awakening here. You do need to keep your heart open. There's an energy here of some kind of reciprocation or benevolence, all right? You're going to be, you know, maybe you need a hands out or a hands up or somebody else does. It's about giving. It's, you know, it's the six of coins here. Six of coins is about material help or gratitude. There is some kind of new, you know, creation or potential for love or some kind of new overwhelming emotions here, maybe with some kind of reciprocate benevolent energy, all right? Like, in other words, giving is bringing you love in your heart or joy in your heart or, you know, or somebody who's maybe being generous with you in some way or assisting you in some way. It's opening up all the possibilities for love. All right, hold on a minute. Let's not do that. At the bottom of the deck, you have the eight of coins. Oh, that's nice. Okay. So, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And the six, okay, so listen, you're going to put a lot of work and effort into something, even if it's a, too much obligation for you, okay? This obviously could have something to do with your craft or some kind of skill that you have. It's about commitment, dedication, and focus, all right? It's about being very meticulous and disciplined and having pride in what you do, specializing in something. Whatever this is, it's bringing you to this energy of financial stability. This could be your own business. You need to open up your heart to love, though. And if you do, listen, even if this is, like, romantic, because it's love and money on tarot, right? Let's be honest. Um, then this is... You you know, a commitment, dedication, and focus into this relationship or this situation where there's the potential for love and there's going to be some kind of benevolent energy here. It's going to bring you into a victory, okay? Six of Wands. You're going to get accolades, pride, victory, rewards, some kind of recognition. King of Cups, that's love. You got the Queen of Wands, take... Oh, look, and the two... Okay, so there's... Listen. Cancer, Pisces, a Scorpio, fire energy, possibly high Aries. You two are going to feel the same way about each other. But, you know, this is it. So you're going to put a lot of commitment and you're going to be very successful at this relationship, whatever it is, okay? So what signs do we have? We have Scorpio and Leo, high Leo. Um, show me. Aries here. What are the tippers for Pisces? Yeah, see, somebody's really, really working hard here, okay? And it's going to pay off because there's a transformation happening. You're going to turn into this queen of coins. I mean, that's the richest queen in the deck, right? Toil and labor, busting your ass. May seem menial now. Something you do with your hands. Something that you have to pay a lot of attention to. Might have to wear a uniform. I don't know, but show me. Show me, Kipper, for Pisces. Here we go. This is good. What am I telling you? Unexpected income. Am I telling you? The ninth, again, could be of significance. 999 is shamanic healing of Archangel Michael. There is some kind of official person. This could be an official person in your life, right? But, you know, somebody could be in the military of the law. 22 or 4. April again. 4 is our Archangel Pure Divine Frequency. There's a main female here, number 2. The month of February could be of significance. And a wealthy man, I'm telling you. Somebody, might, that, somebody that might have more money than somebody else might reach out with some kind of an offer here, okay? Uh, it's coming from a place of love. And it's, you know, whatever this benevolent energy is, it's helpful. Like, you know, it's going to level somebody up or, yeah, you got the 13th or the 4th. <coughs> here we go. Last on the Kippers. Anything else on the Kippers? This unexpected income is really, is, be careful, you might have a thief around you. Somebody might, you know. Could be a couple of them working in tandem. Whatever it is, don't be distracted by anything aesthetically pleasing because somebody could be using you to... It could even be stealing work ideas or anything, right? Somebody has a lot of respect for you, though. Somebody is concerned. There is some kind of great fortune here. You're coming into some money, all right, honey? I don't know how you're going to get it. You're probably going to have to work hard for it, but it's going to be... It's going to pay off, okay? It's going to be like, you know, some kind of long-term stability. Well, show me. Thank you. We have... Be bold and make the first move, Cardinal Moon. The dogs are about to go ballistic. Don't let your past hold you back, South Node. Look at the bigger picture, Full Moon in Sagittarius, and a new romantic cycle begins, New Moon in Libra. You also have New Moon in Aquarius. Bring love into the situation. That's the Ace of Cups right there for you. So the New Moon twice is significant. Here are your letters. I'm going to try to get it done before the dogs go off. You have VG. I'm getting vaginal right away. Maybe somebody has this vaginal issue out there. Uh, Q, O, Q, I. Some of you might play Scrabble, and that's the thing. You know, that's a high point right there. V, G, W, X. I'm getting wax on, wax off. Q, I, O. Thank you so much, Pisces. We love you. Always remember, lead with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy, and trust in God, because karma is real. Till next time, love and light.